Morning. Today you join me on a flying visit up to the lakes. <clears throat> it is the 18th of June. It's a Saturday morning. And already you can see behind me in the car park. It's really bustling. So we are heading up Skidor. We've got a few hours to kill. But it's a very different temperature to the one I left in Devon yesterday. Drove through Birmingham and the uh, car outside temperature registered 32. And uh, I spoke to the wife last night. She said it's still like 22 degrees, and here it was 11 and a half. So very different. So we're just going to follow this bride away along for a little while. And actually, going off the map, it's going to take us all the way up to the top. So I'll catch you on the way, we've got a few nice little viewpoints. But it's a bit breezy, it's about 14 degrees. But it's sunny and the moment it's dry, so I'll take that. Don't you can make out the very zigzaggy path. It is one of the more popular routes on mountains in the lakes. So, so create that balance between uh, wear and accessibility, impact on the landscape, all of that kind of stuff, which happens all over this particular area. But it is still good to get out. I don't know if you can hear it. Wind's fair blowing. But uh, I guess I see you at the top of here. Nice to hear the bird song. Probably won't see it, but you'll certainly hear it. Nice little skylark. Probably said before, but they hover around that kind of 60 foot up in the air. Seems to be their favorite height when they're not on the ground. Had to bob around there and sing their little hearts out. So we've got a lovely view over Durham Water still. A little, uh, collection over there is Porter Scale, that's Keswick. And then you've got Islands you can see, Durham Isle, uh, Laws Isle, probably pointing in the completely wrong direction, and uh, St Herbert's Isle. And the summit appears to be oh, sometimes in cloud, sometimes not. The pace has slowed. You can just make out the cars down there. It's been a fairly relentless climb. Not overly steep. I mean, this is this is the leveled off section. But uh, pretty ongoing. And, uh, Cairns have been in the outdoor world news recently about are they any good? Are they a blood on the landscape? Should people remove them, add to them? That seems to be largely site specific. But this suggests that maybe it was bigger as well as they've got taken it down. But it makes for a good photo opportunity. Come on you, come on, can you get up? You've done it. Okay, if you see a sheep like that, I saw it for two minutes walking up and it can't roll over. They're really wide on the back. They've got funny little legs. They can die like that. So, I wonder what's gonna do there. Let's go over, give it a roll, get it up. It made itself, it righted itself. But guys, if you ever see that, please do it. They're a bit smelly, and a bit greasy, but they're quite lovable. And you're gonna be saving a life. Right, because along there, down, and then the summit is the next one along that is just in the cloud. 
So prepare yourself for some breathtaking views from the summit. As my friends in Yorkshire would say, tits bit windy to the top. So yes it is. It's a bit broad as well. Our wind has got quite a chill to it. But all good. All good. It does occasionally blow through. You might pick a bit of balloon that's up in the sky. You get glimpses. But lots of lots of cloud, because it's high. So down we go and see what's next on the agenda. The sun has got his hat on. Just on my way back down and just stopped and had a chat with the fella from Stoke. Just realised actually how steep it is. Didn't really notice it on the way up. That's kind of plundered along. Pretty much is all. This is picking up the gradient at all. So, so my legs might not feel it, but I think my knees will. Gorgeous day.